Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another anime movie reaction and today we're going to react to Millennium Actress. Alright, so this is another Satoshi Kon movie and I have already reacted to three of his other movies. Uh, the first one was Perfect Blue, then Tokyo Godfathers and then Paprika. And this is the fourth movie of Satoshi Kon that I'm going to react to. And I, I am really love, like, you know, I really love his style, the way he, like, you know, the movies kind of play out. There's a little uh, psychological aspect, a little mystery aspect, and, like, you know, some other things, uh, like, mixed with them as well. So I really love that, and, like, I am really loving these movies. So, like, yeah, now, uh, again, I have no idea what this is about. Uh, like, I only saw the movie poster, poster and that's basically everything that I know uh, I'm guessing it's like you know it, it will be centered around an actress probably from the title that's all that I could gather and I have no idea what this is about so let's see let's see what this movie is and this is a one and th a one hour 30 minutes movie so yeah without further ado let's get started so okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Uh, all right. Groundbreaker. Excuse me. No, what is this? Okay. The Earth, isn't it? We're in outer space or something? What the? Oh, what is that? Oh, is this a movie that they're filming or something? I think so. Okay. Some outer space rom-com or something? Not rom-com, but like romantic drama. Whoa, what's happening? Earthquake? Yeah. <laughs> that was an unusual coincidence and timing, like, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the full movie. Whoa. okay whoa what's happening like it's like kind of moving from uh, an older era to like in the future again and we're seeing rockets and stuff and then uh...
It's the same girl that we saw in the rockets, space rocket. Guinea Studios. Oh. Okay. Damn. Greatest star. Jiyoko Fujiwara Except Oh my god, yeah, he, he's a really big fan, I can tell. Uh, the other guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's so excited. <laughs> Oh. Wait, is this a lady? <laughs> ah, no. Ah, there you go. She's a caretaker, I'm guessing. Okay, let's see. Is he really correct that she not grow, did not grow old or something? Yeah, it's, it's the same girl that we saw. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> wow. But she usually does not. Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> Okay. The earth moves. <laughs> wow, he's... Okay, there she is. There you go, she's old. Like... Rotas, Lotas. Oh, wow. Okay. Simple purity. What? What is that? Key. Hmm. Oh.
Oh my god, the earthquake again. Okay. <laughs> All right, interview. Nineteen twenty three. Oh, great counter earthquake. Oh, my God, the oh, no. Oh, so she's going to tell her life story, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. True. Hmm. Tutor discovered, okay. Genius Studios. So she was uh, affiliated with the, the same studio that kind of went down, to, like, you know, this episode we saw. And she was scouted at a very young age, that means. Oh, the mom did not. Yeah. Quite old, like an old. <laughs> oh, they're like <laughs> witnessing the whole situation. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Um <laughs> they're like filming. <laughs> wow. Interesting way they actually like, you know, doing this. Like it's as if they're in the same place. National Health Week. And nation needs you. Oh, damn, that was close. Yeah, throw again. <laughs> she actually does throw again. <laughs> it says <if> they'll... <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what the hell? They really are filming the whole... Oh. Damn, what the? Um. Um. Yeah. Okay. What the hell is he a th thief or something? He has something. Yeah, must be. Did he rob someone? It looked like a painting that he was actually carrying. Oh no, the blood. It was bleeding.
<laughs> yeah. He's hurt, the guy. Yeah, there you go. Like, he's bleeding. <laughs> Sneaking around. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she's sheltering him. Gets. Okay, well, oh, I thought he was, he has stolen something, maybe not. Wow. Oh, he's, oh, maybe he is some kind of a Oh, today. Oh, wow. Till tomorrow. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, is that key? I'm guessing. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even old people were young ones. Wow. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, it's blood stained bandit. Oh no, the key. He left it. Did he go away? I think so. He must have run away. But why over here? Yeah, why did they leave the key over in this weird place? I, I, I mean, like, why did he leave the key in this weird place? Oh no. Okay. Okay, thank God. Wow, he knows. <laughs> wow. Good guy. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> he even caught the hat. Wow. Okay, calm down. The key, she's, she's like wearing it. Oh! It's snowing at the same time, slippery. The ground. Oh my god. <laughs> it's hard work. Oh. Do we even know if he's in, in this train or not? He might be somewhere else. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> now there's drama. <laughs> I can't... Wait, this has a movie? Yeah, like... Okay. Yeah, her mom was not... Wait, the hat, what the hell? Okay, he ex she accepted. I don't. What did the mom say? <laughs> She's not happy. Well, obviously. I don't care about movies. <laughs> Eriko Shimao. Oh my god. She looks like one of those characters, you know? Those... I don't know. Snobby. <laughs> Let's see, I might be wrong. Don't judge a book by its cover, as they say. What the? Who the hell? Who is this guy? What the? Yeah, he seems like a nasty guy. Promising young director. Oh great, it's another one of those guys. Um, don't, don't say that to, in front of him. Hmm. <laughs> the scene changed. What? <laughs> we don't have a movie about like this. Uh, I'm guessing they kind of made a movie later on on all of these things. I don't know. Let's see. Whoa, this is like a... Oh, they're shooting a film.
There you go. <laughs> They're like conversing with her. Oh, great. Uh. Fortune teller. What? Oh. What? Um. How? Oh. Oh my god, someone's... <laughs> wow, this is... Yeah, this is fortune telling. <laughs> Great. Someone was behind her. I guess, like, he saw the key or something. And signaled him. <laughs> and you do. <laughs> Mass sound activist in the North Manchuria, oh my god. <laughs> the face. <laughs> You're not even born at that time. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Oh no, she's stuck. Okay, it's getting hotter at the same time, you know? Oh no, what? Wait, wait, what? What the? <laughs> it's one of those historical dramas. Oh! <laughs> this is above his pay grade. <laughs> Lord is in the castle. Oh no. <laughs> you credit all her films. <laughs> oh my god. No, I think you're going to try to commit. Yes. Oh god. What? 
before you were born. What? What may not be in this world will be in the next. Yeah. Wait, she was trying to kill herself. So why did she stop her and then ask her to kill herself again? Like. Uh. Whoa. What the? Thousand year tea. Oh no, she tricked her. Damn, that's... Oh boy, look at that. Oh! <laughs> oh god <laughs> get him on <laughs> oh no damn oh Oh. What? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. I love the transitions. You know, one thing to another. <laughs> <laughs> Dora Kichi <laughs> I'm guessing that's why this is called the millennial actress You know like she's Like covering so many types of different act act Acting oh my god he got shot and I'm guessing in the end we're going to see the the space drama that we saw at the beginning. You know, in the space rocket. <laughs> He's like, who the why am I even here? Okay, there you go. These are the like Wow. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god, there you go. Wow.
Whoa, this is bad. <laughs> it's imposter. Okay, she's a ninja here. It's kind of a ninja, I can see. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, damn. Oh, oh. The same girl didn't, who we saw, didn't we? In the first drama. Whoa, who's that? Oh no, is, is this, is this what I think it is? <laughs> uh, oh my God, the, the thing in his mouth. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, damn, so smooth. And she's gone. Whoa! Um... <laughs> she can die the fire. <laughs> oh no! Reinforcements! Okay, that mean Yeah, that girl is coming. This one. Woo! Oh! Oh, substitution! Damn. <laughs> he defeated all of them, that means. Okay. Oh, flash bomb. Oh! Oh my god, again, another change. Oh no, the... The same ghost. Neither you nor her. Is this uh, the co courtesan? I think this is like a. Torakichi. <laughs> uh boy, he's here finally. Yeah, true. You should do the, fix that quickly. Well, she is a courtesan, I think. Oh boy. Yeah, geisha. Not quarter sound, okay, geisha, okay. <clears throat> Wait, is, is he now like the <laughs> guy who's keeping an eye on him? <laughs> Wasn't this supposed to be a documentary? <laughs> Oh! Wow! Uh.
Oh my god. Okay, he, she's gone. No. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> Jailbreak. Wow. So the guy was in jail. He's a samurai. Oh, is this is that the same guy? Yeah. It's him. Okay, she finally Found him. Oh no. Yeah. Look, there she's gone. Keep it for a few. Uh, in month. Yeah. Not here. Still not time. No, no, that guy. Yeah, the guy who was actually this shows a different direction. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, didn't this happen before? <laughs> okay. Well, it won't work the second time. Oh, <laughs> he's back <laughs> with a gun. <laughs> um, okay, that's lame. Okay, finally, thank you. <laughs> Leave it to me. Wow. Really beautiful animation. Oh, are they in a different? Yeah, I think so. Different era. <laughs> Where's the other guy? My god, I love this. This is so great, the way they are doing this. Oh. Oh no, those guys. Oh boy. Roof. Oh no, is it the key? Oh no, maybe not. Oh, that was a trick. Trick question. Uh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> the the other lady is here as well. <laughs> oh <laughs> He's gone, where is he? Oh yeah, what now? Oh my god! <laughs> what are you? <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Yeah, Gen saved you. <laughs> He's pretty rich, that means. We caught the guy. Oh. What? Oh, that's him. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it opened. Yeah. Oh, another, another scene. Oh my God. Yeah, this is the... No, it's not. I, th I don't think so. It's, I guess... Uh... Oh! <clears throat> ah! Okay, well... <clears throat> I'm guessing this is like, you know, the time when the war was happening. Oh, after that, after the, after, the aftermath. Mysterious sweets. And the whole thing, yeah, nothing left.
Oh. What? Oh, he drew a picture. <clears throat> Until the day we meet again. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, this the ghost. <clears throat> oh, she fell asleep. Oh no, no. She's, she's feeling sick or something. Yeah. Tomorrow I won't remember. These are all the like, you know, different movies that she did. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, this is little hope, you know, always. Oh, okay. Wait. Ooh, that was him? <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Oh, there he is. Oh, is this it that guy? Yeah, th th those guys. Hmm. Wow. Ah, great.
Oh, great. Wow. This is... <laughs> uh... What? Yeah, what? Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> They're like standing in front of him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the, why does everyone bump into her? <laughs> God. The Madonna, oh. <clears throat> oh, I'm guessing. <laughs> Suitors for her. Mm. Why has she not went there? I don't. Like, I think she probably did not find him. <laughs> wow, she became... Oh! Uh. <clears throat> oh no, the key. Oh, is this where he actually lose? She actually loses the key or something? Like, what the hell? Why did she take it? Oh, I think this is where he actually finds it. Okay, I get... Um... <laughs> yeah, but how did it end up with... Okay. All right. No boy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't even properly... I think she doesn't remember actually, like it's been a while. Yeah, that's why it was kind of like, you know, his face was not shown properly. But that's why she said that I might not remember tomorrow. Wow.
<sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah. Otaki? Wait. Wait, really? What the? Otaki means that guy, isn't it? The, the, the direct, director or... Why him? I'll have to check it out later on. I think it, it's that guy. I forgot his name. Oh, God. Oh, God. So it was actually him. What's with the smile? Like, oh my god, I really don't like this guy. Yeah. Like... Okay. Wow. Oh, him. Wow. Yeah, obviously, that's pretty apparent. Oh my god, I really don't like this guy at all. Oh, it's, it's the it's that guy. Shut up, dude. Like...
it's, it's a long time ago that he wrote this letter. Hokkaido. Oh no, traffic. Oh. Wow. The way it's changing. Snow and Sky Express. Still gives up, gives us hope, yeah. <sighs> we still don't know even if, if, if he's alive or not. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh boy. It's like everything is like stopping her from actually reaching her goal. Like the lady we always see, like you know that ghost who said that this is going to continue for thousand years or something. It's, it's, it's as if that really is happening. Like everything is kind of stopping her. All these years. You're burning, yeah, oh boy. Oh! <laughs> he has a role that suits you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Still everything's still trying to stop her. Like you know? Even the snow and <sighs> Ah. 
Oh wow, now we are in the... <laughs> oh, there it is, finally. The car is standing. I'm guessing she still did not find her if, if him even after he she went to Hokkaido. Like this scene is kind of depicting it like that. Any, oh. Oh, this is the first scene that we saw. Ah, uh, there it is. It's like, now I notice it's kind of like a lotus blooming, you know? Uh, her favorite flower is lotus and... <laughs> it's him. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh Oh boy Oh no! God! Oh, is this where she actually loses it? I think. Oh my god! Oh boy. Yeah, he like she like feeling like she cannot die like the the whole thing like you know like, she won't die but she'll like always burn in the as as the specter said that she'll always be burning in the flames of love she won't be able to die and that's where he actually finds it. Hmm. 
Yeah, and then she didn't even like bother to find the key after that. What? Yeah. Oh. She stopped? Oh, she went into hiding. Oh. After the accident. Oh my god. That was her. Oh my god, that's why she said that I hate you, but at the same time I oh god. So makes sense. That that specter was her herself. Her jealousy towards her younger self. And when she actually realizes it in the end, she realizes that she won't be able to go back to that day oh boy and the earthquake again yeah oh. Yeah. Old policeman. Oh no. She won't be able to. Oh God. Was chasing a sad shadow. And she still doesn't know what happened, like, you know? Even now. She's no more, I think. Yeah. That was the end. No, she's alive. I thought... Okay. There we... Yeah. Yeah, she realized it, obviously, like...
and there she goes. That's the end. Wow, okay. I'll be honest here. I did not expect so much from this movie. Oh, it's really good. Like... Wow. <sighs> like, everything was so good in this movie. Like, the... The way they actually showed us everything, the presentation, how they did not go, like, you know, go on the path of normal storytelling. They did something completely different here. They decided to actually show her story through different parts of her life, like, you know, different movies that she acted in. And, like, you know, her actual <clears throat> longing for getting to meet that person again her what do you call it stubbornness everything was kind of shown as a part of the movies that she acted in and again i i, I can like i always see like satoshi Kon has this one thing that he always does is kind of what can i say uh like you know the border between two things are kind of vague in all of his movies, all the other movies that I've watched, Perfect Blue, Paprika, these are as well, like, you know, the border between reality and delusions or, like, you know, imagination are very vague. Everything kind of melts together. Here as well, here it was no delusions, neither, like, anything else. It was basically her movies and her herself in reality. Both of them had their borders very vague. And it kind of melded together in a very beautiful combination. And like that's the main charm point of this movie. Like we can see like, you know, the the guy. Uh, uh, the, uh, what was his name? The guy who came to actually take the interview, him. He and the other cameraman also being present throughout all the movies and them also interacting like obviously it was not him interacting with her in the movies it is it was some other different character in the movie like obviously like you know but like you know they were actually showing him to be a part of the movie as if he was present in that portion and he's been seeing everything from his own eyes and like that was a really great way they actually did it and like also sometimes we actually like think that oh is this really happening or is this something again that is kind of a um, like part of the movie which is being melded into the reality for example that scene where the like you know she actually tries to uh, shoot for the film uh, with the rocket you know and the earthquake happens and everything kind of falls down at that moment I was thinking like is this part of the movie or is this part of reality and then I actually realized uh, no this is part of the reality that's happening like, you know, it was, it was part of the movie before, but it suddenly, like, you know, melded into reality and, it, like, you know, everything that was happening now was part of reality. Like, like, everything happened so smoothly and the way they actually changed the different scenes and mixed them so perfectly in so amazing, like, you know, such an amazing harmony that, oh boy, it was fantastic. And it really, like, it tells us an amazing story as well like it tells us the story of a lady who just wanted to meet someone from her childhood and who kept that promise in her heart forever and uh, okay that's the end oh my god yeah and <coughs> like now all this time she had the key and the key was actually keeping her uh what do you call it like making her keep her resolve to keep going on and on 
and um like i really hated that portion where like 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 that guy especially uh, the director now at first when she he realized that he won't be able to like you know um what do you call it do anything because like she has it like you know she has her feelings connected to the key what she what he does is actually take advantage of the weakness that the other lady had like, who was jealous of her and like he decides to use that and you know tells her to uh, steal the key so that he can actually uh, like you know marry her like like that was like really bad I, I really did not like that guy from the beginning he was sleazy cringy and I don't know like one of those nasty people and I like you know after that key went away she probably like, you know like I'm, I'm she, she tried to find it a, lo a long time but at the same time I'm guessing like the loss of the key kind of made her resolve weaken and he she decided to actually get married anyways and it's, it's as if like she like you know she just like, you know, got married to someone who was there that was him only and uh like that's one thing that i really did not like you know especially that the way that guy like if the guy went like you know like tried to actually uh what do you call uh, what do you call it like you know actually talked with her and said that yeah i want to marry you stuff like that like if, if he went through the normal procedure normal way it would have been fine but the the way he did that like you know like in the end we actually get to realize that it's just that he wanted some uh what do you call that um like popularity because she is such a great actress she wants like you know he wants to actually uh, use her popularity for himself and that's why he basically did this in this way like that's sleazy and that's really vile and i really hated that portion um uh, because of the like, you know the amount of what do you call it <sighs> The, the the thing that we like you know he the, the way he actually tried to do it that was bad and um yeah and after like you know the the police officer comes uh the guy uh not police officer the, yeah the police officer that guy who comes and uh, like you know gives her the key and uh no no not gives her the key sorry after she finds the key and the police officer comes and uh like apologizes uh she gets her resolve back and she runs back to hokkaido and and does not find like you know that guy and she gets goes into hiding after that so <clears throat> no uh she goes to hokkaido comes back and after that scene she like you know after she loses the key i think she goes to hiding after that yeah like you know the, the like he uh the guy okay i need to check out their names just a sec um after she loses the key uh what's his name genya yeah genya finds the key and then she goes into hiding after that so yeah okay uh and uh, the other lady uh the lady who actually stole the key now obviously she the thing that she did was also not uh, correct but at the same time uh I like you know like I prefer her more than the guy the director guy because like it was just one thing with her she just was jealous of her and wanted to kind of mess with her because of that obviously that's not okay but she in a way was also kind of a victim as the director got to uh, like you know got to know that thing uh, that she did the fortune telling thing and like used that in her in his uh you know advantage so yeah that was really like you know that was that one scene was really kind of but yeah what else can you do like he was a guy like that you know uh, he was a man of a dubious character so yeah he did what he is supposed to do and the way he smiled and like you know like the way he acts as if oh like yeah like i did it so what haha <laughs> like that like uh, anyways I'm, I'm talking a lot about him i should probably stop now <laughs> but okay so yeah and then uh the whole movie the way it was done as i said before it's so well done in like i was really not expecting something like that like this is as if 
they were a part of her whole life as she recounts her story one by one one by one and in one of the dramas uh, there's this one old lady who comes specter and she says that like you won't be able to die you know like and uh, but you you'll be like you know it will always be burning in the flames of love and like you know like i like you know i hate you and love you at the same time and all that things like she told her and went away and it was really well done in the end when we actually realize that when she actually realized after watching the picture and the reflection that falls on it she actually realized that that, that old lady was actually her because it was her older self who felt jealous of her younger self as she actually realized in the end that even if she finds that guy that guy will be looking forward to her younger self you know and she's not young, that young anymore and that insecurity made her like you know punish herself as she says and curses her old self to always like you know try to go to her goal but she'll fail always and she'll be burning in the flames of love forever and that was really well done i was not expecting that at all and it really makes sense in the end that like it, it was just her own jealousy towards him, herself her younger self as time goes on like the insecurity also like snuck into her head that yeah like i met her my met him so long ago and i made a promise with him so long ago when i was so young so even if i am like you know in my age like i'm old now if i go to him and actually find him like we both of us will be disappointed in each other and the fear of being disappointed and tainting her like you know uh, old memories that like you know that uh, memories of that time she gets scared and like you know like that's why like this specter comes out and that act, like you know that specter who is which is actually herself curses her younger self feeling jealous of her younger self like wow that was really well done and the whole movie and also another thing is that like we also see like the guy um genya wasn't it yeah that was that was his name like, i feel bad for him in a way because like we can actually see that in, in like most of the part of his life he really supported her in a lot of ways and she even like you know like uh, uh chiyoko also kind of says that like like you helped like you know in the end she actually actually acknowledges it and says that like you've always been saving me now another thing i think that was like you know implied in this movie was like you know in every drama that we see that she is doing uh there's always this one person who comes and help her which is obviously genya like you know like in this in the movies that we saw but definitely that was not genya that was some other character in the movie when she did it because at that time genya was and even there it was just for the like you know the aesthetic that they used again yeah at that moment and it, to make him as also part of the movie like that was like like kind of something like that but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the fact that like you know like the the movies that we see there these movies are supposed to depict her stages of life you know like as she grows up as she goes to different movies does different movies experiences a lot of other things and there's always this one person who somehow comes and helps her you know different maybe there's a different persons now i think the way like it is kind of implied in my opinion that there must have been a lot of people like this who actually helped her in a lot of ways and like you know who actually cared for her just like the, those characters we see like you know in every like you know movie uh, which genya plays uh, where there's always that guy who cares for her in her own way in his own way and actually helps her get to her goal i'm sure in her like you know in her life it's not shown but i think like you know in her original life there were also people like that who really cared for her and helped her but she really did not see that you know like all the times we see in the movie she brushes past those characters uh like you know, which is genya in the movies but like you know like she does not look at them she just kind of acknowledges them and then moves past them and goes towards her goal like you know single target only so like in her real life i i think maybe like that's what they actually tried to tell us that there were also a lot of people who cared for her in their own way and helped her and like you know wanted to be closer to her but she really did not give give, give them the time and she moved past them and just went on her own like you know own way so 
it's kind of a like you know like like i don't know like i i think that like, like and by the time like you know by the end when she actually loses the key there was no one like that and the the scum director was the only one left who like wanted to marry her just so that he can be more popular and like you know like at that moment she like because he was there he, she just married him and she even forgot about everything like you know she became the you know she became her like you know his wife and did her own thing maybe did more like you know more dramas more uh, like movies and until the day that she finds the keys again and the fire again starts burning so yeah and the way they like you know the old uh, woman uh, like you know uh, when she becomes old uh, chiyoko uh, and she t- she's talking with genya like she says that like uh, like another thing that was probably like haunting her was her lack of memory her, her forgetting the memories and that's why she said that like no you, you should do this today because i won't be able to remember stuff tomorrow she she actually forgot and that's why the like you know the man's face was also not shown because at this moment she doesn't even remember how he looks like so and she says that like you know like you brought the key to my memories you know the key that you brought it unlocked all the memories that i have been locked in my heart and after she actually uh, like you know talks about them talks about his li- her life and everything recounts everything and remembers everything she actually like you know like she she gets sick and i'm guessing she's going to pass away sooner or later uh, in a few days as she says in the end that you're a, like you know <laughs> you're a bad liar like i'm sure the doctor said that i won't be here for long anymore and uh, in the end we actually see, like you know hear from genya that the like you know the 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 officer that told you know, him her and that came and for for his atonement um genya was there at that moment and the officer actually told him that yeah like i killed him and so yeah she she was basically chasing a shadow and i'm sure she in one point of her life also realized that yeah she like you know the guy is no more but still she she wanted to keep her promise she wanted to keep chasing that phantom because chasing that phantom was the one goal in her life that she always went to and that was like her main what can i say thing that was keeping her alive her main uh, objective in her life because like yeah <sighs> like wow such such a such an amazing movie it is done really well and i'm so glad, glad that i watched this and that I, that i reacted to this like all the movies that we saw you know like th- there's a lot of things like all like you know spanning through different eras um just a sec uh let me see if i can uh okay um obviously the the, the school girl she like you know her school girl self then there was a ninja you know the ninja self the samurai like her like her acting as like you know a, a soldier and then she was a geisha and uh, then she was a uh, like you know english woman like you know noble noble woman and the astronomer in the end like all these things like so many uh, like you know like like every like drama that she did kind of shows one part of her life like you know one age of her life like one certain range of her age and as she grows older and older and finally the i'm guessing the last movie was the one with the what do you call it the outer space movie that she did with the astronomer um, suit that was the last movie so yeah so yeah that was really great and as i said that this before and i'll say this again i loved the fact that they did it this way like everything like at the beginning i was quite confused i was thinking like what is happening here why are these guys like you know present in her movie and then as time went on i actually realized that this is just this is just the way satoshi kon does his his work and i love this and 
like you know how all the characters were re recurring like i doubt all the characters were recurring you know the police officer all that stuff they were not recurring at all like these movies had their own like you know story own characters own actor own actresses but like the like for this movie they showed us in this way so that we could like you know relate to the characters and see that each and every movie had their own like you know plot own setting and there were like you know there, there were different characters but by the end of it it kind of shows her story how she always tries to go and meet that one person but unfortunately it's like stuff comes and stops her and she cannot do that but she still keeps going and keeps going like this is like her whole life story this showed us and they blended it in such a great way like you know we got to so see her every part of her life every age that she lived through you know all the movies that she did we also got to see that and we also see that how she was in that moment how her feelings was how how much strongly she was feeling about things and like you know how she like you know did that we saw different parts of her uh what do you call it like you know throughout the age groups we saw how her emotions were for example in the middle like you know when she was like you know in her 50s i think they said uh or 40s uh like after losing that key she became depressed and she like you know gave up but again after a few years after she gets married after a few years after she finds the key again her emotions again start coming back and she gets that fire back again and goes again starts running towards her destination and by the end of it yeah she like like you know one day she actually realizes that she won't be able to meet him again and probably the guy is no more and yeah she she goes into hiding so yeah that was it that was my reaction to millennium actress i i loved it you know and uh yeah this is definitely one of the best movies i've seen like i think i i even loved this more than um, uh what can i say like i think i'll put this like you know if i if i have to rank satoshi khan's movies i'll put perfect blue in on top then i'll put this you know millennium actress i loved it so much and then i'll probably put um tokyo godfathers and then paprika like this is the way i i am putting everything so like i like you know like like listening to my ranking you but like you know everyone can probably realize that i really love this movie like this is like you know like on par with perfect blue like perfect blue was like the best movie that i've seen of satoshi khan and this is like you know probably on par with that a little less but almost on its level i i really love this like this it, it was no like you know there was no what can i say uh what do you call it mystery or suspense thriller nothing like that no psychological stuff nothing you know but the way they did this movie was so amazing i'm very impressed by that like you know the story is also nothing much to talk about it's just a girl wanting to like you know meet that one person who she promised and liked in her childhood you know that's basically the story that's just it like you know like one line story that's the basic summary of it nothing too much but the way they presented everything in such a really great manner that puts this on top almost on the top of the list so yeah i really enjoyed this so yeah guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out all right the next week i'll be doing this is technically not a movie but it's kind of like uh like you know short three like you know long episodes of uh this is memories i'm going to like i heard a lot of good things about this like you know it has three little episodes i'm going to cover three of them and i think two of them are like uh 35 40 minutes and the last movie like you know the last episode is like 25 minutes so all these three like you know small little episodes i'm going to cover them next week and i'm doing this because i think the last one is done by satoshi khan and i've heard it's one of the best that he has you know provided uh, one of the best movies that he has given us 
so that's why i'm quite interested in it and i'll, I'll like you know react to all three of them so next week i'm going to do this it's, as i said it's not technically a movie but kind of in a way uh so yeah so that's my next week uh, like you know target i'm going to do that so yeah guys thank you guys for watching um i'll see you guys uh, in the next week with another mo uh, anime movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day